3.42 p.m. and I may have left my run just a tad late. I uh, last minute decided that I wanted to go and shoot sunset. I've, I've created a list of places, possible shooting locations in the Blue Mountains. And, and now the Blue Mountains for me, uh, this is the Blue Mountains in Sydney, uh, about you know an hour, hour and 20, hour and a half, two hours, they're all within a couple of hours from my place and an area that I wanted to explore more with my photography. So I decided to jump in the car today and shoot up to a place called Sublime Point Lookout. And I've heard this lookout is really good for sunset. It's also super easy to get to. So once you get to the car park, it's a 175 meter walk to the lookout. And you can actually look at the back of the Three Sisters and towards the west. Uh, and the reason I decided to do this today was I, I had a look at Skippy Sky. I could see the clouds sort of coming in this afternoon. Uh, looked at skippysky.com.au, which if you haven't used before, gives you some cloud forecasting. Um, and I could see all this high cloud was rolling in for sunset. So, in the car, heading up there now, and we're gonna see what it is we can capture, who knows? Hopefully I haven't left it too late because uh, my GPS tells me I'm going to get there at 4.34 p.m. and that's to the street, the road where the car park is. So really I'm going to have to park the car and uh, shake a tail feather, as they say, in the old uh, rock and roll music. And then we're going to have to um, get down to the lookout as quickly as possible and set up. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see some really nice colour off the, the high cloud. Well, I've arrived at the car park for the Sublime Point Lookout. All I've got to do now is grab all my gear and get down there. Actually, it looks like it's pretty busy here. There's quite a few cars in the car park. So hopefully, um, you know, I won't be too busy down there and I'll be able to um, get myself a good position and get a spot. Maybe everybody's heard the secret about this place being an amazing sunset location. So anyway, the sun's starting to go down. It's 4.38, sun goes down in about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to have to hightail it and uh, Hopefully, I'll get some colour. I'll, um, I'll let you know anyway very shortly. Apparently just 175 metres, so hopefully I haven't left my run too late and, uh, and we'll get ourselves a sunset shot. Um, I'm not sure whether that's high cloud or if it's smoke up above me, but uh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. If nothing else, in a really nice location. Yeah, beautiful. I can already see it's a beautiful spot, but uh, I can see it's not going to be easy to compose because there's lots of trees. So I thought it might be more of an open lookout, but I might be wrong. Anyway, I'll keep uh, I'll keep wandering down and we'll see what we can find. Well, not too many spots left for me to set up, so what I'm doing is just setting up here along the path. Still a great view, just away from the crowds. Uh, and lucky I've got a big tripod, I'll just set it up over the fence just like that. So I'll get the camera gear out, set up and see if we can't get a shot before the, uh, the sun goes down, because it's happening pretty fast. Well, I'm all set up. Um, I've got the 14 to 24 mil lens on. I've got the Lee 0.9 soft grad in, just trying to settle the sky down. Uh, I might have to try and put another lens on to try and get a bit closer to the picture and see if I can't get a better composition. Just put the big guns on, got the 70 to 200. Just gonna see if I can get a bit closer uh, and get a different shot of the shot. Downside to this is I can't put the, I can't put the filters on because I don't have a filter holder for this particular lens. But it'll get me, get me a lot closer to the action. There's not a huge amount of color in the sky and uh, Hopefully it'll just give me, you know, I can certainly see some nice colour on the rock, on the cliff faces, so that should, uh, should colour up nicely. Yeah, so that's a better composition. I wonder if I can just hold this in front of the lens. Let's see what happens. I'll have to take my lens off. Well, still just waiting for the colours to come out. Um, it may not happen. We've got a little bit of colour. I've got a few shots. And um, yeah, I've got the 70 to 200 on. I'm much closer to the action. ISO 64, 
uh, F13, it's giving me about one second with the uh, graduated filter on the front because that knocks down a bit of the light. And uh, you know, it's a beautiful spot. So, you know, once we pull all the detail out, I think uh, I think it'll work really nice. It's just a shame that there wasn't more color in the sky, but you know what, that's how it goes. At least I got here on time and I was able to get a few shots off. There's a few people left from the main lookout now, so I'll go up there in a second and see if I can get a shot up there and just see what happens. something a bit different going for a portrait landscape which I don't normally do I'm gonna get the uh, which one's this I still got the right one it's funny the numbers are starting to rub off this is a 0.6 so a couple of stops of light graduated filter you can see that and uh, that's just to settle down the sky I'm gonna see if I can get something no, I need to refocus and then I'm gonna hold that there this is a really uh, <laughs> cheap filter holder. You can buy an adapter apparently for these big filters. All right, that looks good. If there was only more colour in the sky, I'd be happier. So we'll just, I think what we'll do is we'll wait. I think um, we'll wait, we'll go up to the, we'll go up to the top lookout and um, just wait for that light to go down even further. I think what you'll find is most of these people will disappear when the light goes, but just because we can't see much with our eyes, usually the, uh, the sensor in this camera is pretty good, even in the real low light. So we'll let the camera do its work and uh, we'll see what we can get from up that top lookout. As the light really dips down, we might find there's a beautiful hue. We might be able to really bring out the detail in the in the valley with some long exposures. We're running out of light really fast, but I've got my camera set up there, 14 to 24. Uh, just off into the valley down there is my composition. It's getting pretty dark. There's a bit of colour in the sky now, uh, which typically happens. You know, everyone's left from the lookout here. The lookout's empty now, and uh, and the colour's starting to come out, which is ironic along with the moon as well, the moon's back there behind me, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, there you go, just above my head is the moon, and I'm just, I'm snapping, I've got myself a composition, and I'm just snapping off some, uh, some long exposures, it's funny, this camera does really well in low light, so don't be fooled by how light it is, it's, uh, it's getting dark, and you know, at F13, it's forcing the camera, out. it's in aperture priority, it's forcing it into a 25 second exposure, but I think it's going to really capture a lot of the detail and, and what's left of this light in this valley. Um, it's like a, a, a table, um, I think that's what they call it, in, uh, in valleys. And uh, yeah, it looks great, it looks great. Well, well and truly I've, I've run out of light now. Uh, and I'm still getting a few longer exposures, just seeing what I can capture. Uh, I'm always, it's always cool to see what you capture after night, after dark. Um, but foolishly, I forgot to pack my headlamp or a flashlight, so um, I'm not going to be able to stick around much longer because it's not all. Uh, it's not a. It's not a hard path, but it's not a safe path in the pitch black. So I'll get a couple more shots, and then I'll get out of here. But a beautiful spot, and one that I'll definitely come back to. Because uh, I think I could have got a better sunset than I had today. That's for sure. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up for me. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And get out there and take some photos. See you on the next one.